happy Saturday, Central Coast. Returning now to your extended forecast right here on KSBY News. This is a shot of Morro Bay from earlier today, all thanks to 805 webcams. The regional radar showed some monsoonal moisture that did move into some areas of Southern California. Locally, we did not see any of that rain moving into the Central Coast as we saw mostly sunny skies across the 805. Temperatures right now are still a little warmer out in Cuyama at 83 degrees, 77 in California Valley, 78 in Shandon, 68 in San Luis Obispo, 63 in Santa Maria, 70 in Santa Inez and in Santa Barbara. Within the last 24 hours, temperatures bumped up 4 degrees in California Valley, 3 in Cuyama, Shandon, Santa Maria and 4 in Santa Inez. So we have an upper level high just centered just west of the Four Corners region that is bringing extreme heat to the Central Coast and other communities in Southern California. The high will weaken slightly on Sunday, allowing for a few degrees of cooling as the upper level ridge starts to push out further east. And by Sunday, we are expecting to see that upper level high starting to weaken even more into Monday. By Tuesday, the high will be far enough east that it's going to allow for a trough to starting to that will slide down along the California coastline, bringing an end to that heat wave. So we are expecting for a cooling trend to kick off on Tuesday. That excessive heat warning is currently in place for Santa Barbara County's interior mountains until 8 p.m. On Monday, we have a heat advisory affecting the south coast until 8 p.m on Monday night. The fire weather warning in place for Santa Barbara County's interior mountains and the south coast is in place until 10 p.m. on Sunday. So this is just in case if there are any fires due to the dry, windy and warm conditions that we've been seeing out there. And we are seeing clear conditions right now across the central coast. Tomorrow morning, it's going to be bright and sunny and beautiful. So if you're planning to head out and do any activities, tomorrow is going to be a perfect day to do that. But we are going to see those warmer temperatures picking up during the afternoon hours. And we are expecting to see clear skies for the majority of Sunday. However, right now we are still seeing breezes or a breeze moving through the interior and some coastal valleys in the interior mountains of Santa Barbara County. But we are seeing those sundown or winds picking up along the south coast. We'll still see that breeze in the interior mountains in Santa Barbara County overnight. However, the wind gusts are not going to pick up until the late morning hours into the afternoon. And then we are expecting to see another round of some downward winds down along the south coast for Sunday night. Right now that we are seeing wind speeds moving at 38 miles per hour in Refugio, we are going to see these gusting conditions overnight and to Sunday morning. However, again, we are going to see those send down our winds picking up towards the late evening hours on Sunday with wind speeds moving a little over 40 miles per hour. That wind advisory in Santa Barbara County ends 3 a.m. on Sunday. We're going to see triple digit heat in Paso with a high of 104 degrees, 94 in San Luis Obispo, 81 in Santa Maria, 79 in Lompoc, 96 in Santa Barbara. Our North Coast beach is sticking on the cooler side. 68 in Cayuca, 72 in Morro Bay, a little warmer in Cambria, 83 degrees, 80 in San Simeon, 105 in San Miguel, 100 in Atascadero, 103 in Avila Beach. Down in the five cities, temperatures will be ranging throughout the 70s, 80s and 90s, 98 in California Valley, 100 in Shandon. Down along the Santa Inez Valley, we are going to see triple digit heat, 80 in Goleta, 83 in Carpinteria. The cooling trend is expected to kick off on Tuesday.